It is a familiar crime with a new twist this holiday season. Tampa police call it the grandparent scam. Crooks preying on the emotions of grandparents who send money to save their grandchildren. Well, it turns out the bad guys in this particular ca case mess with the wrong grandparent. His grandson is a Tampa police officer. In your size, Melanie Michael joining us now live from TPD headquarters with this story. Mel. Let's just say the crooks in this case did not do their homework, targeting the grandfather of a Tampa police officer, hoping he'd send them 5,000 bucks. It's the crime crooks keep committing. Rarely caught, carried out in secret. No names, no faces, no address. They do their dirty work armed with a phone and a lie. Their target, loving grandparents who would do anything to save their grandkids in trouble. They're, they're low lifes. I mean, that's the best way to put it. They're, they're true low lifes. And the bad guys know if they want it to work, it's all in the details using family facts found online. But sometimes their fact checking skills fail. Case in point, a retired Florida grandfather who happens to be extremely proud of his grandson, First of all, Tampa police officer Jerron Howell. So why are they contacting my grandfather? Because I know my grandfather, he's one of those that he's going to do whatever he can to help his grandkids. It happened just before Thanksgiving when the officer's 80-year-old grandfather got a strange call with the voice on the other end bearing bad news, telling him his grandson was behind bars in Georgia. He hit a pregnant woman, so he's in jail, and unless you send that money, he's not going to get out. The Jacksonville retiree knew it'd be pretty difficult for his grandson to commit a crime in Georgia while fighting crime in Tampa. One call confirmed just that. In hindsight, it is funny that they chose the grandfather of a police officer. Talk about a big mistake. Tampa police are currently tracking those suspects and hope to catch them soon. But you know what? This is one of those cases that keeps happening and happening. So tonight, they're really advising everyone out there to please have a conversation with grandparents because just this last weekend, three more cases popped up in Tampa. And with COVID, a lot of grandparents are at home alone. I'm Melanie Michael, live tonight at Tampa Police Headquarters. Eight on your side.